Red car, red car. I suppose red car. I should have seen this coming. She's become more and more erratic since she came to Gotham. I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. You say she can't keep secrets from you. I never thought she'd have reason to keep them from me. Ah! Damn! Ow! Ah, the hell is wrong with this thing? Ah, damn it, sorry. I, I, I've got a passive anti-surveillance system running. It must have triggered What did your... you say, Bruce? Looked like you were speaking, but can't hear so well without these. I was saying the car as a passive security system. It triggered feedback in, in your hearing aids. Crappy agency technology. Not your fault. Look, it's fine. I'd just rather not talk about it. I have to admit, a part of me was sort of hoping we'd be taking the Batmobile. Not that this car isn't great, but you know, it's no Batmobile. Oh, we are taking it. I don't follow. I push a button, the armor plates flip, and voila, Batmobile. That's incredible. If you're not just pulling my leg. Yeah. Lucius Fox was a genius. You've put a lot of time and energy into this crusade. I prefer to think of it as a mission. Do you ever question it? Not the mission. I mean, the methods. The clandestine nature of what you do. The fear tactics. The occasional brutality. No judgment. Just curious. I've done what I had to do. I don't always enjoy it, but it's part of being... Batman. If I don't question it, I'm as bad as the criminals I fight. That makes sense. I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. Existential crisis? Yeah, it's Waller. Why wouldn't she want us to know what Freeze told you? Things have gotten gray recently. Too gray. I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. You should trust your instincts. They're what make you good at your job. I'm glad to hear you say that. It bothered me when she allowed the pact to obtain Riddler's body. Wait, that was intentional? I've had deep reservations about Waller. <sighs> Can't believe I just said that out loud. But you told her I was Batman. Bruce. Not that bitter. Hey, you sure you're okay to do this? Absolutely. You know, I looked through Gordon's case files about Harley. Her father suffered from mental illness that eventually drove him to suicide. An illness with a strong hereditary link. It's very possible she wants the serum to prevent the same thing happening to her. If she fails, she's got one deadly plan B. <laughs> Don't sound so worried, Batman. I'm here to help. We're almost there. Also, your hearing aids are probably allowing the agency to Harley's listen to in on anything you say. If she has Riddler's blood, she'll be incredibly dangerous. Hey, you don't need to tell me. She tried to freeze me to death. Then we're on the same page. She must be gone already. Do you think that means she already has the vials? I don't know, but it's worth a look. Maybe she got scared off before she could find them. Damn it. What is it? 
They're gone. The vials are gone. So... Keep looking. Ooh, C4. C4. Plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something... bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Wonder if whoever took the vials also made a bomb. C4 certainly doesn't sound like the agency. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. Oop. Blood, but was this here before? I wasn't able to interact with it before. Dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. Huh. On the side here, someone's damaged this. Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. So the agency... An agency team has been here. C4 doesn't seem like agency issue. No, but with Waller these days, who knows? Too far. Oh. oh, God. I thought this thing was supposed to preserve him. Obviously, it failed. Wait. Decomposition is actually accelerated. They purposefully disabled the capsule. If that's the case, then they were trying to destroy the body. It's textbook asset denial, but it's some sloppy work. They were moving fast. Too fast. The rapid decay. I wonder if that's a side effect of the virus, or being in that capsule, or both. If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh, my. This may take a bit of time. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. That would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh my god. Bruce. The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus. Fortune reversed. Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think 
we've been formally introduced. Doe. John Doe. <laughs> you seem kind of familiar. She's a friend, John. Our friend. I had a friend. It didn't work out. Oh, hey! Hold on. Are you two timing cat lady, Bruce? <clears throat> She was here. Wait, she was here? Yeah. Ugh. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve. You know that? Buddy! Remember the cafe. Just be yourself, John. <laughs> I stuck my neck out for you. Way out! Bane nearly ripped my head off. And for what? She flew the coop! I have nothing. You steered me wrong. At every turn, every bad piece of advice, everything blew up in my face. This isn't my fault. Harley betrayed us, both of us. Yeah. But you weren't in love with her. So point! It's over! The pact! The dream! Us! Not yet, it's not. She's still out there, with a deadly virus, in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. This was hers. It's all I have left. It's gonna be okay, John. I promise. I care, John. You know that. I'm nearly out of reasons to believe you anymore, Bruce. Well, it's been real. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here but a lot of bad memories. Weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. My problems, they just come with you. No matter how far you go. Nope. I'm pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Certainly not for Gotham. John, please. This is important. I know it hasn't been easy for us, but I am your friend. Okay, buddy. Look, the agency was here. They took the blood. I was up here in a very dark place. They didn't find me, but Harley did. I told her what happened to Riddler. She gave me this. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner rather than later. I don't want to find her. My heart can't take another kicking. I don't ever want to see her again. She ruined me. I, I can't. You won't have to see her. We won't involve you, I promise. I just can't say no to you, Bruce. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places, do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no, you won't. There will be plenty of time for John and Bruce later. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We'd really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? I did. And it's a hard pass. It's okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs>
Bruce, let's talk about this. He'll come through. He's done it before. It's funny. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me. I'm going to track down those vials in the agency's cold storage. Be careful. Thanks. Alfred, how's the bioscan analysis going? Nearly complete. I should have it ready for you when you arrive. I'm on my way. Codex files. Cal, you there? I'm back. I'm taking over at the computer. Hmm. A little more linear than the previous times I was here. What's the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Now's the time. It won't be long. There's so much to do. Shh, 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 Alfred, Alfred, it's just a dream. Uh, I, will, I will not be quiet, Thomas. Martha and Master Bruce aren't safe with those people in the house. No, you, you need to think of your family. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working, and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I'm a, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, and, well, basically, that's all there is to it. First it's your hand shaking, and now you're... You're passing out. We, we can't keep ignoring this. You need to be looked at before it gets worse. Uh, oh, Chet. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. Uh, have to scroll through this entire thing. Still only halfway there. Ah, there it is. Exclusive. Riddler body stolen from Agency Convoy. Gazette can now confirm that the Riddler's body has been taken from Agency custody and that it was the target of the mass convoy's attack last night. When asked why the Agency was in possession of the Riddler's corpse, Henry Chang, an Agency spokesman, said, We don't know where these leaks are coming from, but whoever they are, they do not speak for the Agency or the Gotham City Police Department. 
Anything they say should be regarded as unreliable. Chang refused to comment further. Speculations were raised in regards to the agency's credibility when the Gazette published an article calling into question the validity of one of their earlier statements. It was first erroneously claimed by the agency that they were responsible for capturing Riddler, somehow resulting in the man's death. On the agency moving the Riddler's body to an undisclosed with the agency moving Riddler's body to an undisclosed location, it is speculated that the government group might have been trying to take the corpse out of the hands of the local authorities. This would prevent ac present access to key evidence and set back an attempt to properly investigate Riddler's death. The outcry and hostility from Gotham City citizens against the agency has increased as falsehoods are increasingly brought to light. Agency Director Amanda Waller was unavailable for an interview for this article. GCPD and agency spotted at Wayne Tower. Eyewitness accounts state that both of them were seen entering Wayne Tower this morning. It is currently unknown what they were investigating, but less than an hour later both groups departed without making any arrests or public statements. This is Brian's question why such a show of force would be necessary at one of Gotham's most prominent buildings. The only known joint effort between the agency and GCPD is the investigation into yesterday's attacks now being referred to as acts of terrorism by authorities. What, connects, what connection this has to Wayne Enterprises, and potentially CEO Bruce Wayne, is still unknown. Concern over Wayne's mental state has bled into discussions about the future of his family's business. Last year, he was implicated in a high-profile assault on Oswald Cobblepot and was temporarily admitted, tempor and was temporarily admitted temporary stint in Arkham Asylum. As of this writing, no charges have been filed against Wayne. We reached out to the GCPD, the agency, and Wayne Enterprises. Each organization has refused to comment. Gordon fired from GCPD. GCPD confirmed today that longtime Deputy Commissioner of Operations James Gordon has been let go from the force. No reason has been given, but insiders are pointing to workplace tension between the GCPD and the agency as the cause of Gordon's dismissal. The Gazette reached out to both the GCPD and the agency for further explanation. In response, the GCPD issued this brief statement. We appreciate all Gordon has done for the GCPD and wish him the best moving forward. Please direct all further inquiries to the agency. The agency, while offering more clarity in their response, refused to give specifics. Given the current climate in Gotham, a change in leadership is needed. We commend James Gordon for his years of service to the city and people of Gotham. It sounds like Gordon wasn't making the cut. However, when we asked Detective Renee Montoyo, who, was, who worked closely with Gordon, for her thoughts on his dismissal, she had only this to say. It's disgraceful, that's what it is. It's putting politics over policing. No candidates for the position have been announced. Exclusive, Catwoman narrowly evades GCPD. Gotham's most notorious stray cat, the career thief known as Catwoman, is reportedly back in town and already causing a stir. After a year-long hiatus, Catwoman is once more painting the town red and blue, with police sirens flooding the street. The GCPD, who in the past have failed to apprehend Catwoman, are holding nothing back in their pursuit, an inside source says. We received our strongest lead to date, and it paid off. We got a piece of her before she slipped away. She's too smart to go to a hospital, so we encourage anyone who knows where she might have held up to come forward. As an incentive, a generous reward is being offered by a group of private citizens, museums, and corporations, all victims of Catwoman's crimes. While this commitment by authorities to arrest Catwoman is laudable. It also raises concerns that police resources are being diverted from more pressing matters. The individuals responsible for the brokerage, arsenal, and Gothcorp attacks, as well as the ambush on an agency convoy, are still at large. One could argue that, unless Catwoman is somehow involved with these terrorists, she should be put on the back burner. I, for one, am more concerned for the safety of my children than the safety of my jewelry. Bruce Wayne implicated in assault. Why no arrest? The negative publicity for Bruce Wayne, billionaire playboy, continues with Wayne's latest in a string of erratic behavior. An inside source at the GCPD implicates Wayne in trespassing on a crime scene in Gotham's Lower East End, resulting in the assault of an unarmed officer. Unnamed officer. What was Wayne doing in the Lower East End? Eyewitnesses suggest Wayne wasn't alone someone of Wayne's caliber, it's possible that this was thoughtless thrill-seeking gone wrong. 
Then again, it's clear by now that Wayne is no stranger to Gotham's less savory corners, with his recent appearance at the Stack Deck Bar as proof. The fact remains that the GCPD has probable cause to investigate Wayne, or at least bring him in for questioning, yet have not done so. The Gazette reached out to Wayne Enterprises, GCPD, and the agency to inquire whether the authorities show a force at Wayne Tower had anything to do with Wayne's nocturnal activities. Each organization refused to comment. What are they not telling the public? Is Wayne embroiled in another scandal? And will this one diffuse like that of last year? Or is this just the beginning of another dark chapter in Wayne's life? Breaking news, police shut down Bodie Spa. Downtown Bodie Spa is currently a hub of police activity. Passers-by and frequenters at the spa are baffled by the sudden closure of its doors and are wondering how long it will last. Combined, GCPD and agency forces have created a perimeter, apparently as a part of an ongoing investigation within the spa. The exact cause of their presence is unknown. Clients and employers, employees, who were present at the time of the authorities' arrival, were quickly escorted from the site. However, the Gazette did talk to one employee leaving the scene. The masseuse, who looked pale and shaken, claimed she wasn't sure what happened and just how people got hurt. I was in the middle of a massage, I didn't see anything, just some guy who stuck his head into the room, but I thought that was just a prank. He said something about a secret lab. I don't know, I'm sorry. In the meantime, testy clients have taken to social media, condemning Bodhi Spa for refusing to give refunds for appointments cancelled on account of these events. However, Bodhi Spa representative promises to reschedule these appointments as soon as the current matter is resolved. But on this story to follow as information is made available. Is the agency above the law? The secret government organization known as the agency has become a common sight in Gotham. While their presence in Gotham is a justifiable answer to the rise of violent crime in the city, complaints of the agency's tendency to abuse its authority have poured into the mayor's office. The Gazette itself has received numerous letters lambasting the agencies. Dock owners in particular are up in arms after multiple illegal searches of their private property, for which the agency offered no explanation. It's like they answer to no one. I've complained to the mayor, the police, the state legislature, later. I even threatened lawsuits, but even the lawyers I contacted wanted nothing to do with these people. It's unbelievable. New now Gothamites have a new reason to question the agency's methods. Apparently in connection to the current investigation at the Bodhi Spa, the agency is closely monitoring travel in and out of the city. Public officials are encouraging citizens to cooperate with the agency's demands. Gotham security is the agency's priority. The sooner the agency finishes its work, the sooner Gotham City citizens can return to their normal activities. Vigil plan for victims of violence. A vigil is being planned to honor these, those civilians, officers, and agents who have lost their lives or been wounded by recent acts of terror. While the threats facing Gotham's affect all of us, the families of these individuals feel the fear and pain of these attacks in a very personal way. Many have cited a need to stand together as a sign of unity and defiance in the face of adversity. However, some believe a public a vigil is a bad idea and only gives these violent criminals an easy target. But the GCPD promises a strong presence at the vigil and encourages Gothamites to attend. At the ceremony, family members of the fallen will also pay their respects and religious leaders will offer words of guidance. My dad, Chip Locke, died in the attack on the police arsenal, says Susanna Locke, Chip's daughter, who was expecting her first child in, over a in just over a month. We miss him so much. We're all devastated he wouldn't be here to meet his granddaughter. But I know she'll be proud too, knowing her granddad died helping others. And that's why this vigil is so important, is it's Susanna. We owe it to them to be here. Er, there. Whew. Okay. Codex. Gotham City Police Department won't be the same without Gordon in charge. He's had a tough time cleaning it up when he was first promoted. Let's hope his ad absence doesn't reverse that progress. There was some truth in Riddler's claim that the agency made him. Riddler used to work for Sanctus, and during that time he became infected with the virus. Like previous test subjects, though, Riddler didn't die a horrible death. Somehow, he survived. He became stronger. Sanctus went underground after the agency tried to shut them down. 
but even with their continued research, Sanctus never discovered the potential healing properties of the virus. That was Riddler's secret, and his curse. I could have prevented the bloodshed of Bodhi's spa, I, spa if, I'd said I was the, if I had said I was the rat. But I couldn't give up Selena. She was a price I couldn't pay, no matter what might follow. Selena, John, and I went back to Riddler's workshop in the hope of finding a way to decrypt his laptop. We barely survived a run-in with one of Riddler's old puzzles, and Selena and I went deeper into the workshop. We were able to recover the decryptor device, but Selena had her own plans for it, and she handcuffed me to a chair in order to take it for herself. Whew. I recovered more details of Riddler's past from the Skanktus computer networks. It's intriguing stuff, to say the least. Impressed with his criminal mass history and ambitious vision, the, Rid the agency offered Riddler a fortune to work in their science and intelligence units. He exceeded expectations and was soon promoted to work in Sanctus, the shadow arm of the Clan Einstein organization. Riddler helped advance their genetic engineering and biomechanical weaponization projects, earning him a solid status within the agency. Among those projects was Lotus, a deadly virus they believed could be altered to enhance the body's natural regenerative properties. Lotus's potential encouraged the agency to sanction human experimentation. But after several failed trials, enthusiasm for Lotus had diminished. In a final and desperate round of experimentation, Riddler was accidentally dosed with Lotus. He and his colleagues assumed he would die within days, but he survived. He is the only human known to have done so. Over time, he began to exhibit the signs of growth they had been searching for. This turned Riddle into yet another of Sanctus's research subjects. His fellow scientists attempted to subject him to painful and horrific experimentation. However, Riddler eventually escaped Sanctus and the agency, swearing revenge on an organization that once promised him a future. Selena was grateful that I took the brat for stealing the laptop. She paid me back at the black site by warning me of the guards posted up ahead and offering to fight alongside me. She was disgusted by the carnage, by the pack's ruthlessness. Selena is a formidable foe all the more reason I wanted her by my side. When Harley threw me into Freeze's cryo chamber, she had no idea who she was dealing with. I may have blown my cover with the pact, but it allowed me to put the fear of Batman in her. Since her priority is escaping with the virus, that should work to my advantage. Harley was at the lair. She disappeared before I showed up. John said she came looking for the Riddler's blood, but the agency already had it. She took out her anger on John and bolted. Harley's still out there with the virus, and John's my only lead. Gotham's fate lies in the hands of an emotionally distraught, drunken ex-Arkham inmate pursuing his violent ex-girlfriend. I may need to find a plan B. Last I saw Freeze, he was in a Sanctus airlock, infected with the virus. Eager for my help, he explained the virus's secondary properties and his hopes that, like Riddler, he might survive. He's convinced Nora, his wife, could also benefit by the serum. As a show of good faith, he gave me a lead on Harley. In exchange for this information, he asked me to turn the thermometer down the thermometer in his airlock. This would further slow the virus's spread and make it difficult for the agency to experiment on him. I complied. If he survives, Freeze's gratitude may come in handy down the road. If he doesn't, it was still the right thing to do. Bane is finally in agency custody after the assault on Sanctus, along with most of his soldiers. He nearly killed me at the black site, failing only because of John's interference. With the pact dissolved and Bane out of the picture, I can focus on the last remaining threat. Harley. Gordon can't be taking his dismissal well. He wasn't just a cop in name. Gordon is the job. It's hard to imagine the GCPD without him. Maybe once the pact is in custody and the agency leaves Gotham, he'll be able to return to the Force. I hope he's holding up, and that the city can hold up without him. Even with Gordon off the Force, there are still good people at the precinct. Montoya is one of them. It was Waller who told me I'd need allies going undercover, but I'm glad I still have a few at the GCPD. I've known Detective Montoya long enough to be confident that she'll pick up where Gordon left off. She won't stop fighting until the pact is secure in Blackgate Prison. 
Without John's quick thinking and his willingness to turn on Bane, I might have died at the black site. The pact wasn't about to let Batman interrupt their plan, and they put up one hell of a fight. John alone stood by me, fighting by my side, even at the risk of Harley's wrath. His defense of Batman may have cost him more than he expected. I'll never forget the look on John's face when Harley took the virus and abandoned him. John's in a dark place right now. If there's one thing I've learned about him, it's his unfailing ability to bounce back after a disaster. If he can help me locate Harley, maybe he can get some closure on their relationship. Maybe this was exactly the impetus he needed to see the light and straight out his and straighten out his life. Alfred continues to encourage me to accept allies, but I can see the strain our work places on him. I was worried that he was beginning to fracture under the weight of our work, but he came through with a useful new upgrade for my contacts. He's always been good with technology, and I'm happy he stepped up to help now that Lucius is gone. I don't know what I'd do without Alfred. Tiffany tried to have me arrested. Even though I hadn't been expecting it, it wasn't surprising. I didn't give her much of a choice by acting as evasive and suspicious as I have been around her. Despite that, I felt I couldn't tell her the whole truth. I know it's not what Lucius would have wanted, but this is how I'm going to keep her safe. I couldn't stand it if I lost her too. She may hate me, but that's just the price I have to pay for her safety. A promising young scientist, Tiffany is every bit as street smart as she is academically accomplished. She recently graduated first in her class in molecular engineering in the hopes of following in her father's footsteps. Ah, uh, so much words. Stuff, she's doing stuff. Okay. Amanda Waller. She wants the virus. She'll say that she's using it for good, but, uh, no. Waller's the sole voice of law. She fired Gordon. Jeopardized. Uh... Because I jeopard blah, blah 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 blah, but only convenient excuses to cover up a real mo motive. For now, our goals align. We both want Harley and the virus. There's no point in burning any bridges yet. Not long though. Lotus, mega virus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. The bioscan of Riddler's body, I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other, for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. It's only because they think they found Eden. A way to cure all of their problems. Men rarely share their prosperity, even if it brings them ruin. The fools. Run the simulation again, then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. I, I wanted to, to be thorough. A silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is... A very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. A place where the sun actually comes to visit. Maybe if you'd listen to me and start seeing your therapist. Uh, yes, yes, I know. It's just... The more I talk about my kidnapping last year and my rescue by Batman, the harder it is keeping certain details a secret. You should understand that. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Yeah. 
It's too risky. We can figure something... I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. It's not up for debate. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. I'm sorry, Albert. We can't risk you falling again. Very well. No, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea, and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. When you told me Alfred wasn't doing well, is this what you were talking about? I hoped that would remain discreet. This is not something you hide, Al. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. Well, there is something else. I know this isn't the best time, but I need your advice. Director Waller's people reached out after the incident at your office. They said they were impressed with my skill set. We got to talking, and well, they offered me a job with the agency. The training would start immediately, but it'd be a big step for me. I've been working with the agency, so let me warn you. Waller's dangerous. Yeah, I've done my research. I know she's got a bad rep. But maybe we need dangerous people for dangerous times. This isn't what your father would have wanted for you. I think he'd be proud. I'd be using my skills to fight crime. To protect others from losing their loved ones. Wayne Enterprises? It's hard there, Bruce. I see my dad in every hallway. I hear his laugh around every corner. And you, you're not around. I'm left to myself, with shadows and ghosts and secrets. Waller's tough, I know that. But she is ready to take me under her wing. She knows how to get things done. I understand what you're saying. Just do me one favor. Watch yourself. Waller and the agency may not always be looking out for your best interests. It's decided then. I'll hand in my notice first thing. And I'll tell Director Waller I accept. Mm to go. We'll be waiting right here. Files took so long I almost forgot what was going on.
John? I said look at, don't pick up. Dr. Quinzel, this is Harley's. Might as well. Oh. <laughs> Fine, I'll turn the crank. What is this, Spooky's House of Jump Scares? <laughs> Do the hangman, you lost. Nice eyeball effect. Oh god, oh god, oh god, please. You're not making this easy on me, you know? What am I gonna say to Bruce? It, 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 it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self defense. I, I know it needs work. Stop judging me. You agent. You should never. Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just... It, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I can explain. Just try and reserve judgment. Take a deep breath, John. Just calm down. It was horrible. Just horrible. But you're, you're right. I, I should do my exercises get a hold of myself. What happened? Is Harley here? She left just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up! I'm 
I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> You think this is funny? I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Huh. Really? In the back. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's... It's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I... I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in okay well, sounds sounds like you did what you had to do exactly it was a real life or death moment i just sort of closed my eyes and hoped for the best i felt so much rage inside me bruce it was terrifying it was like it was like i became someone else Someone dangerous, but someone you want around when your back's against the wall. Well, I hope you're okay now. You think you're back to your normal self? Normal? Yes. I feel much better. Thank you. You don't have to worry about a thing. It was a momentary episode. A, a flash in the pan. It won't be a problem. I promise. You, you believe me, don't you? You have faith in your good old buddy John, right? Of course I believe you. Oh, good! Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't sure I could count on you. You didn't want to meet my friends. Not until you saw an advantage in it. Not after the raid. It's been hard, knowing you haven't been straight with me, Bruce. Keeping your secrets. When we're supposed to have all this trust between us. Straight with you? You're telling me you don't keep secrets from me? Oh, Bruce, there are secrets, and then there are secrets. Yours is definitely a secret. You forget. I know you, the real you, always hiding behind some kind of mask, playboy, businessman, criminal, bat, dun-dun-dun, you can't fool a friend, someone who really takes the time to look, you are. You kind of gave it away with the laptop. Bruce wanting it, and Bats wanting it. Too much of a coincidence to ignore. Well done, John. You figured it out. I've got to say I'm impressed. Only because you underestimate me. After you fell on your own sword to save Catsy, there was no more doubt. So what? You think you can use that against me, huh? Blackmail me? I would never! We're two threads in the same stitch, remember? Oh, my head feels all messed up right now. I need a purpose. I know where Harley is. She took a truck out of the city, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me 
help you stop her. You and me, Batman. We can clean up this city together. Unless... Uh, unless the stitch is truly broken. In which case, uh, we should both go our separate ways. When this is over, we will have a very serious talk about all this. But right now, let's go find Harley. We'll bring her in together. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Bruce. You're going to such great things. Uh, oh, sorry about the blood. We've got to catch up with Harley before these murderous agents find her. She's got explosives and the virus. If they start shooting, things could get really exciting. Oh, boy! Remember when you said you could buy me a car? I think I'd like to take you up on the offer.